Every time I'm there, everyone falls asleep. I don't think that's what a common room is for. Oh, it's my favorite place in the entire school. If I didn't have that fireplace to sit next to, I think I should be terribly home. I'm just onion again. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student.
best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like... Yes, Professor. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to her book. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mithla's fancy. Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a drum. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry, no. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Here. 
Revelio. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves i shall end our lesson here i tended to the chinese chomping cabbages professor remarkable plants aren't they i hope they weren't too much trouble oh don't see any bite marks or missing digits and good as you do seem to be quite green fingered oh i'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. I should think, Professor. Make anything, Crow. We must first. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his class. Off on another adventure, are we? I want to play Quidditch professionally when I'm up. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous.
I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Should you chop the Dittany? My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan World potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time Rebellion. at Rebellion! I wish he talked about it more. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fuiper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fuiper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion stations organized and free of clutch. Revelio. That color, Miss McDowell. Here's the Fwapper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Efficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Again! Oh! Now! Dragon Dark! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not... I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiggum World potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiggum World potion on their first try. Well done. Glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. 
See you soon, no doubt. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. I don't feel well. Why don't you go and see Nurse Blaney? Yes. We'll come with you. Not a chance. Last time I was in there, she'd spilled a bottle of skeleton. Rebellion. Rebellion. Let me also. Accio. Rebellion. Resource indeed, your field guide. Rebellion. 
Revelio. As a Dalian key, I wonder where it might lead me. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Brilliant. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Leviosa. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant! What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Your house token? I'd better unlock our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something.
should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. Revelio. It seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. What are you up to now? Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Yes! Hey, 
In second. Is that all you got? Descend on you! out of you that round. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Incendio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Franco. Protego. Ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I think so. Not right now. Understandable. But don't take too long. We'll be waiting.
Incendio. Levios, Accio. I'm still struggling with Antia. Oh. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Excellent four. Incendio. Keep trying. That was something. Levioso. Accio. Next time, perhaps. Levioso. Keep trying. Levioso. Incendio. Work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. now. Very well. Good luck out there. In 
incident. Leviosa! First hand go You're better than that! Leviosa! Leviosa! Akio! Protego! Incendio! Incendio! again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Confringo! Give him one more! Again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. So, not right now. Understandable, but don't take too long. Well,
Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the... I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Protego! Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Incendio. 
Again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Akio. Find the one. Can bring us. Let me also. Potato. Akio. Incendio. You're better than that. Love you. There goes my way. Akio. Akio. Incendio. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Can bring Incendio. 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 Don't try 
away now. Is that all you've got? Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I don't think so. Not right now. Understandable. But don't take too long. We'll be waiting. Is 
This is the first year my siblings and I are all... Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the... I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Let me 
Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. think so. Not right now. Understandable. But don't take too long. We'll be waiting. Yes. <gasps> Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's... 
Kill. Incendio. Incendio. Akio. Akio. Levio. again no i don't think so not right now understandable but don't take too long we'll be waiting hello lucan is the final round of cross wands ready look who's back ready to redeem yourself i certainly am brilliant are you dealing with a partner yes natty then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the... I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Akio.
Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. think so. Not right now. Understandable. But don't take too long. We'll be waiting.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Blue Pants. I hope you were able to take care of everything. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle.
Expelliarmus! Rebellio! This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. some assistance hello can I help you oh thank goodness yes my name is Grace Pinch Smedley of the Bath Pinch Smedleys I was hoping someone would come along soon I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never you see I need to retrieve something from the bottom of diving into the lake sounds like an adventure tell me more splendid Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if I... Northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rock. We did not. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I I'm still learning, but... I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. 
I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Expelliarmus! I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Off on another adventure. I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see the mummy. They're beautiful. These horses with wings. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your story. Hello, today. sir. You what do you sell right here? here? Hello. I can see you. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Ah, yes. A wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. Revelio. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you? Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. 
When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I should They must be... have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil! Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! I refuse to be treated in this manner! Perfect! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Warming up. Steady on us. Stop that right now. Uh -huh. Back for more. Be it. Stop it. Don't you think you're going to get out of this alive? Akio. Incendio. Leviosa. Expelliarmus. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. 
Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. Mallow Sweet. Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell. And we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Rebellion. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Accio. Levioso. You've got the mallow suite to work. Now, what to do about these pyres? Revelio Accio Levioso Accio Incendio The flames make the pyre sink Accio Incendio are meant to be lit. Incendio! Incendio! Incendio. It 
seems the pyres sink if you don't light the others quickly enough. Incendio! Incendio! all of the pyres before any finish sinking. Incendio! Revelio. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I should explain the safety of my notes and books. Revelio.
Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Rebellion. Revelio. Accio. Incendio. You've really mastered that one, haven't you? Expelliarmus! Protego! Expelliarmus! Revelio! I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio.
Yes. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Rebellion. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Uh, you there! Uh, yes, you! I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Expelliarmus! This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Rebellion. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. A student. No, Never the kill understands students. What could they want? Plenty of delicious. Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know how so old.
Revelio. Here's a welcome treat. Hmm. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help. And to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Who knew all of this was going on right beneath our feet? Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Ah, you're back! No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind out for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organises the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Nothing like the feeling of a breeze through my hair.